Our reporter Nkulule Konyambezi and video journalist Sine Temba Blandile have been covering the launch of the 16 Days campaign from Lusikisiki. Uh, there has been a number of uh, criminal activities, as much as uh, targeting uh, women and children here in Lusigi uh, You understand that only maybe two days ago we were told that uh, a woman was killed and then her body was uh, dumped in one of the rivers here. The scourge of uh, gender-based violence continues to be uh, a, a main challenge here in the Eastern. But now I'm joined by Deputy Minister in the Presidency, Mama Utulaj. Mama, for sure you must be very, very upset and sad about what is going on here. Twenty women have been brutally killed in this part of the Eastern Cape. Thank you very much, uh, sir, and good day to our viewers. Indeed, we are quite perturbed and even angry with the sketch that is persisting, especially here in Lusikisiki. Yes, we did receive the statistics from the minister who indicated that the figures are slightly going down. However, they are not uh, like that in the Lusigisigi area. Hence, the Eastern Cape government decided to come and launch the 16 days of activism of 2023 here in Lusigisigi. This indeed is informed by the fact that we've just articulated the numbers are going up on a daily basis. We will remember all of us that because of that reason, the president came here to come and conduct Imbizo Indeed, he left the community happy because he committed a number of interventions. Again, the Deputy Minister, Deputy President came here for the same reasons. Yes, getting the report and seeing the progress. Yes, we can confirm that there is progress. However, there are serious setbacks. The serious setbacks are informed by the numbers and nothing else. So any intervention, whether it is working or not, it must be shown by the numbers that must come down. And in this case, that's not the situation. We are really taken aback with what is going on. Yes, we realize that the level of shipbins and taverns, the numbers are a little bit high, which we know for a fact that when people are abusing alcohol and all other drugs, that violence tendencies become rife. But that is not acceptable. Also, we see young women in particular uh, being around in those areas of tavern and shippings, which made them av are vulnerable to those uh, young males and males in general, to make them uh, those objects of sex. We are calling to our communities to say, let's go back to where we are coming from, especially as African. There's never been a situation like this at any given time where the skies begin become so rife. We are calling upon everyone in the communities to play a role. Uh, the gender-based violence and femicide must be reported even if it's done by the spouse or the fathers. We have here a situation where a young girl was raped by his own biological father. She went to go and report the case, the, the police made a big through to make sure that the culprit was locked up. However, the young woman came the following day to come and withdraw the case, which is a serious setback to the efforts that are being put by the police. We know the reasons. Sometimes the families themselves do influence these young women and really force them to go and withdraw the cases. In other situations is that these men are breadwinners. Therefore, they are threatened that if the father is locked up, there will be nobody to provide for the family. This is why you are saying the communities must take it upon themselves to keep young girls at school so that they develop and become part of the economic mainstream so that they are able to stand for themselves and be able to look after themselves and their needs. We are saying no to this gender-based violence and femicide here in Lusisig and in all other areas in South Africa. This is wrong. This is not acceptable. Okay, mm -hmm. may, may, maybe one would say that uh, justice department or justice system is not uh, uh, doing enough to make sure that at least uh, they control or keep this uh, high scale of uh, gender-based violence in South Africa in general. I won't conclude that way because I won't have the facts. I, all I know is that, for instance, in the case where the culprit was known and reported, the police did their 
their role the courts were to do their role however the victim went to go and withdraw the case yes the courts can't find anybody without having presented a proper case we just looking very closely to the laws themselves and see where the gaps are